Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. A recent scientific research breakthrough in China has shocked the global technology circle. Wang Jianghui's team from China Min Metals Group has successfully developed an ultra-high purity graphite, with a purity of up to 99.99995%. Seeing this number, many people may find it a bit abstract, after all, the percentage of purity does not seem easy to understand. Let's put it simply, this value is close to the theoretical limit, almost reducing the impurities to a negligible level. Graphite can be used in many high-tech fields, especially in cutting-edge technology fields such as semiconductors, nuclear industry and aerospace, its importance is self-evident. So why has this technology attracted so much attention? What kind of changes can it bring to us? Graphite, as a form of carbon, may be a little unfamiliar to ordinary people, but it is actually not far from our lives. Graphite has a very wide range of applications in the pencil leads you use every day, some materials in mobile phone batteries, and even some high-temperature industrial equipment. Its characteristics are conductivity, high-temperature resistance, and corrosion resistance. It is simply a universal assistant in the industry. But the problem is that the purity of natural graphite is not high, and there are many impurities in it, usually about 95% purity. This is enough for ordinary industrial applications, but for those high-tech fields, such as semiconductor manufacturing and aerospace equipment, 95% purity is far from enough. These fields pursue materials with almost zero impurities, because even one part per million of impurities will have a great impact on product performance. Graphite purification is not a simple process. Some people may think that this is just filtering impurities, what's so difficult? In fact, the purification technology of graphite requires extremely high requirements. Whether it is chemical oxidation and reduction, or physical stripping, Traditional methods require a lot of time, energy and cost. And the requirements for equipment are also very harsh, and the purity results may be affected by a little carelessness. Therefore, there are not many companies in the world that can produce ultra-high purity graphite, which has also led to a shortage of supply in the graphite market, and the price has naturally risen. China has been catching up in this field until the breakthrough of Wang Jianghui's team this time which really broke the technical bottleneck. The realization of this technology is not only a leap in purity, but also means that it can be mass-produced. In other words, in the future, we will be able to produce this ultra-high purity graphite on a large scale at a lower cost, thus breaking the situation of high prices and limited supply in the past. This is definitely good news for the entire industry. In the future, Ultra-high purity graphite may be widely used in more high-tech fields, promote industrial upgrading, and even bring about a new technological revolution. So, what potential does this technology have in practical applications? The first is the semiconductor field. As we all know, semiconductors are the core of modern technology, and almost all electronic devices cannot do without them. The current supply chain of semiconductor materials is very tight, global demand has surged, and prices are high. If this ultra-high purity graphite can be used, it can not only greatly reduce costs, but also improve product performance and stability. In this way, not only chip manufacturing, but also the production efficiency and quality of many high-end electronic products will be significantly improved. The second is the nuclear industry and aerospace fields. Speaking of these two industries, everyone knows that their requirements for materials can be said to be demanding. The materials required for nuclear reactors must be able to withstand high temperatures and strong radiation, while aerospace equipment needs to maintain excellent performance in extreme environments. The emergence of ultra-high purity graphite can just meet these stringent standards. Its high temperature resistance and extremely low impurity content make it an indispensable key material in these fields. 
This technological breakthrough is not only a great contribution to China's scientific and technological community, but also a reshuffle of the global scientific and technological competition. In the past, the technology of ultra-high purity graphite was mainly in the hands of large enterprises in several developed countries, and our country could only catch up. Today, the success of Wang Jinghui's team has not only put China at the forefront of the world in this field, but also given us more voice and initiative in future high-tech competition. This breakthrough is undoubtedly another milestone in China's independent innovation in science and technology, marking the further improvement of China's strength in the field of high-end materials. What is more worth mentioning is that this technological breakthrough is not only in the laboratory, but has been industrialized. China Min Metals Group and several other companies have signed a cooperation agreement to establish a closed-loop industrial chain from the recycling of waste lithium batteries to the production of high-purity graphite. This green and environmentally friendly production model can not only reduce the generation of waste, but also greatly reduce resource consumption, truly achieving a win-win situation of economic benefits and environmental protection. In the future, this model is likely to be promoted to more fields and contribute to China's sustainable development. The future development direction is also worth looking forward to. If this ultra-high purity graphite can be promoted globally, it will greatly promote the technological upgrading of related industries. Especially in the semiconductor industry, revolutionary changes in materials often trigger changes in the entire industrial chain. It can be foreseen that in the next few years, as more companies introduce this ultra-high purity graphite, the production efficiency and product quality of the global semiconductor industry will usher in a qualitative leap. At the same time, material innovation in the nuclear industry and aerospace fields may also bring more technological breakthroughs. Of course, any technological breakthrough is inseparable from the hard work of scientific researchers. The success of Wang Jinghui's team is the result of the wisdom and efforts of countless scientific researchers. It is their perseverance that allows us to see the rise of China's scientific and technological power. This is not only an achievement, but also an important victory for China in the global scientific and technological competition. In the future, we have reason to believe that there will be more and more scientific research breakthroughs like this pushing China to the top of the world in more fields. In summary, the successful research and development of ultra-high purity graphite is not only a technological leap, but also another major achievement of China's independent innovation in science and technology. It will bring revolutionary changes to many fields such as semiconductors, nuclear industry, aerospace, etc., and also win more initiative for China in the global scientific and technological competition. Facing the future, with the continuous advancement of technology, we have reason to believe that China's scientific and technological strength will become stronger and stronger, and more black technology will enter our lives and change our world in the near future. What do you think of this technological breakthrough? What changes do you think it will bring to our lives? Welcome to share your views in the comment area and discuss this exciting technological progress together.